Hey y'all, you know what time it is. It's book review, it's book review. Take it down, take it down, no, okay. <laughs> I've got some great books um, that I just wanna tell you about really quick because these, mm, when I was telling y'all that I had growth this summer, this was part of my growth. I was reading nonfiction, can you believe it? Yes, okay, so two great books, but first, wait a minute. If you haven't, make sure you check out CarrieLee.com because y'all know I'm over there writing up a storm because of course every writer has to be an avid reader. So don't forget to check that out. But today I am talking about two amazing books and the first one, this one's near and dear to my heart. It is by um, Tanisha C. Ford, Professor Dr. Per uh, Tanisha C. Ford and Dressed in Dreams and this book, I felt like I was reliving my childhood all over again, but with a history lesson. Um, Tanisha tells her story of how growing up in Fort Wayne, Indiana, um, she experienced, she tells the history of her parents, how they met, and how her mom is just like her style icon and helped influence her as a, a growing teen, a young adult into the amazing woman that she is now, where she was just like influenced by like the, the black fashion so you know door knockers um cross colors baggy jeans um the high puff when she went natural like there was just so many things and i gotta show y'all one of the chapters um how she talks about she even talks about the jerry curl now your, your girl had a jerry curl my mama couldn't do no hair so you know what we just had to do what we could and so i had the jerry curl but how cute is this <laughs> It's the illustration. Like every chapter has an amazing illustration. And immediately when you see it, you're like, yes. Like she talks about going into Wilson's to find her uh, her first leather jacket. Like these are the moments where I'm like, yes, she gets it. And at the same time, she's taking through taking you through her journey of self-discovery and how she learns to find out, find her voice and um, the different levels of you know classism and everything that she experienced. But Deborah Willis actually said on her book, and she's the author of Posing Beauty, she said, a rich and exciting book that focuses on family, love, girlhood, the black arts movement, and the closet. Like, that's exactly what it is. Not only do you feel like, oh, I remember that, and you know, the issues that we have with our hair, or whatever it might be, that's like, oh, I remember those moments. Tanisha just like really dives in with them and like you're you're saying mm-hmm girl as you read it and then you're laughing like I remember sitting on um, the train literally laughing out loud and just smiling with every page that I turned. So this one's definitely a great read. Um, I recommend if you have like teenage daughters like or you're just a young woman yourself or just a black woman who's like yes I'm sharp now. I wasn't sharp maybe back then like this is the book for you. And as you think about, like, one of the reasons I chose to talk about these two books is I also have More Than Enough by Elaine Welteroff. It's because both of these books to me are, um, for one, of course, by black women, but the importance of telling our story. Um, I actually had a um, book club meeting at my job, and when we talked about this, one of the leaders said, um, oh, I, you know, it's so important that black women write. Yes, and yes, yes, yes. We have to tell our story because I would say in Elaine Welteroff's book, and in case you don't know who she is and you've been sleeping under a rock, no, actually you've been buried under a rock, she used to be the um, the editor of Teen Vogue, but also she just has an amazing personality. I actually had the chance to meet her in person, um, and she's just so genuine, and you just like want to hang on to every word that she's saying. Um, and one of the things I, I really relate with her is because also she's a journalist at heart, and you know, I studied journalism in school, so... I felt like I was just like, I felt like my story was really reflected in these pages and just in a different way. Um, and with this story as well, kind of takes you back through her life and how she is to where, me, how she got to where she is now, but not in a, let me tell you, you know, let me tell you my story, but it's more of a, let me, let me inspire you by my story. Let me um, make you think that you can do anything that you put your mind to because you're more than enough. I really love Elaine's book. Um, I have um, biracial um, nieces and nephews, and she's a biracial woman. Her mother was black, her father's white, and um, I said her mother was black. Her mother is black. Her dad is white. They're both still very alive um, and wonderful people. Um, and she talked about really, you know, feeling like you're in between, but America will choose for you and say like, oh, we look black, you black. You know, this is simple as that. There's so many parts that she talks about in this book. She talks about her future her ex future husband I think that's the name of the chapter um, and she talks about like the mistakes she made in love which hello listen 
I ain't even gonna take y'all down that story. But um, she also talks about like growing up in the black beauty shop. I call it beauty shop. She calls it beauty salon. But listen, that is literally where I grew up. My cousin did my hair. My aunt did my hair first, then my cousin started doing my hair. And it's just like, ugh, there's nothing like the beauty shop. And I felt like she did so well of capturing it and just the camaraderie, the understanding, just the love that happens in the black beauty shop. If you don't know, you need to know. Um, but also she talks about like just the working in corporate America or, you know, her version of corporate America, which was still in the creative sense because she was in magazines. Um, but just it, this book validates so much of how we feel and the things like, mm, did she just say that? You know, and that you're thinking that about maybe your coworker who's of a different ethnicity. And she's like, yeah, she did just say that. And this is, you know, this is how I wish I could have handled it. Um, but it was just also so inspiring. She's had an amazing life already and she's just in her mid thirties. So I just felt like after reading this that I could go out and do whatever too. So I highly recommend both of these. Um, I, I just feel like this is your history lesson. This is your fashion lesson. And this is your inspiration to be whoever you want to be. Well, they're both your inspiration to be whoever you want to be at the same time. So I hope you enjoy. This is some quick light reads for you, um, but that are for sure going to make you smile and think like, yeah, now that was a good read. Enjoy.